Hello, God bless you. Welcome to today's Daily Devotion. This is where we take a chapter from the Bible and read it together each day. We post these videos five days a week, and then they are there in a playlist, in uh, a playlist organized by a biblical book. You can access them at any time, and our hope is that this is a tool uh, to help you and others include a little of God's Word in your daily routine, because we think it's important. My name's Stephen. I'm the pastor of Graffiti Fellowship. We're located in Brooklyn, New York, and you can learn more about us at graffitifellowship.org. Today we're reading John chapter 6. John chapter 6 is uh, on the longer side. It's 71 verses and some significant, well-known stories from Jesus' ministry are included. And uh, since it is a longer chapter, let's get right to it. John chapter 6, beginning in verse 1 says, After this, Jesus crossed over to the far side of the Sea of Galilee, also known as the Sea of Tiberias. A huge crowd kept following him wherever he went because they saw his miraculous signs as he healed the sick. Jesus climbed down a hill and sat down with the disciples around him, and it was nearly time for the Jewish Passover celebration. Jesus saw a huge crowd of people coming to look for him, and turning to Philip, he asked, Where can we buy bread to feed all these people? He was testing Philip, for he already knew what he was going to do, and Philip replied, Even if we worked for months, we wouldn't have enough money to feed them. And then Andrew, Simon Peter's brother, spoke up. He said, There's a young boy here with five barley loaves and two fish, but what good is that? with this huge crowd. Tell everyone to sit down, Jesus said. So they all sat down on the grassy slopes, and the men alone numbered 5,000. So there were many more people total than 5,000. That's just the men. That's not including the women and children. And then Jesus took the loaves. He gave thanks to God, and He distributed them to the people. And afterward, He did the same with the fish, and they all ate as much as they wanted. Now, after everyone was full, Jesus told his disciples, Now gather the leftovers so that nothing is wasted. And so they picked up the pieces and filled twelve baskets with scraps left by the people who had eaten from the five barley loaves. When the people saw him do this miraculous sign, they exclaimed, Surely he is the prophet we've been expecting. When Jesus saw that they were ready to force him to be their king, he slipped away to the hills by himself. That evening... Jesus' disciples went down to the shore to wait for him, but as darkness fell and Jesus still hadn't come back, they got into the boat and headed across the lake toward Capernaum. Soon a gale swept down upon them, and the sea grew very rough. They had rowed three or four miles when suddenly they saw Jesus walking on the water toward the boat, and they were terrified, but he called out to them, Don't be afraid, I'm here. Then they were eager to let him into the boat, and immediately they arrived at their destination. The next day, the crowd that had stayed on the far shore saw that the disciples had taken the only boat. They realized that Jesus had not gone with them. Several boats from Tiberias landed near the place where the Lord had blessed the bread and the people had eaten. And so when the crowd saw that neither Jesus nor his disciples were there, they got into the boats and went across to Capernaum to look for him. They found him on the other side of the lake and asked, Rabbi, when did you get here? And Jesus replied, I tell you the truth. You want me to be with you because I fed you, not because you understood the miraculous signs, but don't be so concerned about perishable things like food. Spend your energy seeking the eternal life that the Son of Man can give you, for God the Father has given me the seal of his approval. They replied, we want to perform God's works too, so what should we do? And Jesus told them, The only work God wants from you is to believe in the one He has sent. They answered, Show us a miraculous sign if you want us to believe in you. What can you do? After all, our ancestors ate manna while they journeyed through the wilderness. The scriptures say Moses gave them bread from heaven to eat. And Jesus said, I tell you the truth. Moses didn't give you bread from heaven. My father did. And now he offers you the true bread from heaven. The true bread of God is the one who comes down from heaven and gives life to the world. Sir, they said, give us that bread every day. And Jesus replied, I'm the bread of life. 
Whoever comes to me will never be hungry again. Whoever believes in me will never be thirsty. But you haven't believed in me even though you've seen me. However, those the Father has given me will come to me, and I will never reject them. For I have come down from heaven to do the will of God who sent me, not to do my own will. And this is the will of God, that I should not lose even one of all those He has given me, but that I should raise them up at the last day. For it is my Father's will that all who see His Son and believe in Him should have eternal life. I'll raise them up on the last day. And then the people began to murmur in disagreement because He had said, I'm the bread that came down from heaven. They said, isn't this Jesus, the son of Joseph? We know His father and His mother. How can He say, I came down from heaven? But Jesus replied, stop complaining about what I said, for no one can come to me unless the Father who sent me draws them to me. And at the last day, I'll raise them up. As it is written in the Scriptures, they will all be taught by God. Everyone who listens to the Father and learns from Him comes to me. Not that anyone has ever seen the Father. Only I, who was sent from God, have seen Him. I tell you the truth, anyone who believes has eternal life. Yes, I am the bread of life. Your ancestors ate man in the wilderness, but they all died. Anyone who eats the bread from heaven, however, will never die. I am the living bread that came down from heaven. Anyone who eats this bread will live forever. And this bread, which I will offer so the world may live, is my flesh. And then the people began arguing with each other about what he meant. How can this man give us his flesh to eat, they asked. And so Jesus said again, I tell you the truth. Unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink His blood, you cannot have eternal life within you. But anyone who eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life, and I'll raise that person at the last day. For my flesh is true food, and my blood is true drink. Anyone who eats my flesh and drinks my blood remains in me, and I in him. I live because of the living Father who sent me, and in the same way anyone who feeds on me will live because of me. I'm the true bread that came down from heaven. Anyone who eats this bread will not die as your ancestors did, even though they ate the manna, but will live forever. He said these things while he was teaching in the synagogue in Capernaum. Verse 60, many of his disciples said, this is very hard to understand. How can anyone accept it? And Jesus was aware that his disciples were complaining. And so he says, does this, does this offend you? Then what will you think if you see the Son of Man ascend to heaven again? The Spirit alone gives eternal life. Human effort accomplishes nothing, and the very words I have spoken to you are spirit and life. But some of you don't believe me, for Jesus knew from the beginning which ones didn't believe and which ones would betray Him. And then He said, This is why I said that people can't come to me unless the Father gives them to me. And at this point, many of His disciples turned away and deserted Him. And then Jesus turned to the twelve and asked, are you also going to leave? Simon Peter replied, Lord, to whom would we go? You have the words that give eternal life. We believe and we know you are the Holy One of God. And then Jesus said, I chose the twelve of you, but one is a devil. He was speaking of Judas, son of Simon Iscariot, one of the twelve who would later betray him. That concludes John chapter 6. Thank you so much for participating in today's daily devotion. I hope you've been blessed uh, by including this chapter from the Gospel of John in your day. We've certainly been blessed by your participation. If you know anyone that uh, might also be blessed by these videos, please feel free to share. And hope you'll join us again next time for John chapter 7. God bless.